Today we're going to assemble a Verona Barcelona bunk bed. Let's begin by emptying a sachet of glue into a pot. Now take a ladder rung and two medium dowels. Coat the end of the dowel in glue and insert it into the ladder rung. You may need to gently tap it home with a hammer. And repeat this also with the other dowel. We do the same on the other side and then repeat for all three ladder rungs. Lay out the ladder uprights and rungs as shown. Coat the dowels on the rungs with glue and insert into the holes in the upright. You need to repeat this for all three ladder rungs. Now coat the remaining six dowels with glue. Align the dowels into the holes in the other upright and firmly tap into place. Make sure you have a good tight fit with all the rungs. Don't worry if you get a bit of glue seepage, it's easy to wipe off with a damp cloth. Now take the short legs and the top bed end boards. You can identify these by the holes at the top of the board. Now lay the board down with those holes towards you. This leg should have a black mark and a hole on the base and the three large holes facing upward. The other leg should have no marks on the base but a large hole and likewise the three large holes facing upwards. Turn over one of the legs so you now have four holes facing upwards. Place two small dowels in these holes. Now insert the dowels into the end board and secure with two coarse threaded bolts, tightening off with the Allen key. Do the same for the other side, then repeat the whole process again for the other end board and legs. Now take a bottom bunk end board and two long legs. This leg should have a red mark at the bottom. It should have the three large holes facing upwards and at the top of the leg should be a small drill hole. The other leg should have no marks at the bottom. It should have the three large holes facing upwards and also at the top of the leg the small drill hole. The end board should be positioned so that the top large dowel hole is closest to you. Assemble in the same way as you did for the top bed ends. Now take a side rail and two small dowels. Insert the dowels into the end of the side rail. Repeat this also on the other side. Do the same for the remaining three side rails. Now take a bottom bed end and side rail and position as shown. Take a fine threaded bolt and pass it through the bed end. Use this to guide the dowels on the side rail into the bed end. Draw back the bolt and place a cup nut in the hole in the side rail. Now screw the bolt into the cup nut and tighten off with an allen key. Repeat this on the other side of the bed end with another side rail. Attach the other bed end in the same way, making sure that all the bolts are tight. We need to repeat this procedure to assemble the top bunk. Now divide the bed slats into two equal piles. One pile should contain both the specialized bed slats. The pile with the specialized bed slats are the ones we're going to use on the top bunk. These bed slats are for the bottom bunk. Distribute the bottom bunk bed slats evenly onto the bottom bunk. The holes in the bed slats are countersunk on one side. Make sure they're positioned correctly. 
Now secure each slat to the side rails with two small screws, one on either side. We do the same for the top bunk, but this time we place the specialised slats at each end of the bed. These slats prevent little fingers getting trapped in the bed. At this stage, if you wished, both beds could be used as standalone beds. Now take two long guard rails and two guard rail supports and position them as shown. Make sure that the guard rails have the curved edge facing toward you. Take two large screws and place them into the guard rail support as shown. Now screw the support to one of the guard rails. Repeat this for the other guard rail and attach the support at the other end in the same way. Your guard rail should now look like this. Now take the top bunk and position the guard rail as shown. If you find it difficult to get into position, temporarily slack off one of the side rail bolts. Make sure the guard rail is positioned as shown, then using two medium sized screws secure the side of the guard rail to the bed leg. Repeat this for the other side of the guard rail. Now take a tape measure and use this to locate the centre of the guard rail. Take a small piece of electrical tape and place it on the centre of the top rail. Take the guardrail strengthening bar and position it as shown. The top of the bar is sloped and should curve away from the bed. Now secure the bar to each guardrail using three medium sized screws. Your top bunk should now look like this. Now take the top bed bunk finishing panels and place two small dowels in each panel. Position the panel shown and press firmly into place. And then screw the panel to the bed end using three medium sized screws. And repeat this at the other end of the bed. Now working on the bottom bunk, place a large dowel in the hole at the top of each bed post. Now with assistance, lift up the top bunk and place it on the bottom bunk, making sure all the dowels fit correctly into the holes in the legs. Now take two medium sized screws and screw them into the holes in the bedpost as shown. You need to do this for all four bedposts. We're now going to fit the ladder. The ladder can be fitted to either side of the bed. Position the ladder as shown, making sure the bottom of the ladder is level with the bottom of the bed rail. Now secure the ladder to the bed rails using five medium sized screws. Now take the two short guard rails and guard rail support. Make sure the two holes at the end of the guard rail are positioned as shown and that the edge that is curved on both guard rails is facing toward you. Using two large screws, screw the support to the guard rail and repeat for the other guard rail. Your guard rail should now look like this. With the help of an assistant, screw the guard rail to the bed post with two medium sized screws. Now working from the other side and making sure the guard rails are spaced evenly, use four medium sized screws to secure the guard rail to the ladder upright. It's important that while the bunk bed is in use, 
you check the tightness of all the nuts, bolts and screws periodically. Your Verona Barcelona bunk bed is now ready for its mattresses and its two little guests. Thank you for watching.